Now for this last part, we're told that the lamina is suspended from a point A, hung from a point A, and we've got to work out the angle that the edge AB makes with the vertical. Now, we've already got the center of mass here at the point 1111. We found that out in the previous part. And to work out the angle that AB makes with the vertical, you don't really have to do the drawing that I'm going to show you now, but it just might help in your understanding if you're a bit unsure. Here it is, okay? What happens is, as I mentioned in earlier tutorials on this, that if you suspend something from, or hang it from a point, in this case A, what happens is that the center of mass always aligns itself up totally underneath, directly underneath that point where we suspend the lamina in this case from. So it's this angle that we're looking for. Let's call it theta say. And to work out that angle, we can come back over to here on this diagram, just draw it in there. That's the angle we're trying to find. And we just need to create a right angle triangle. And the obvious one to create is by projecting a line across there to the edge AB. And there will be our right angle. And this will be our right angle triangle. So we can use just normal trigonometry. We've got some lengths that uh, we can spot here. We know that the distance in from here is 11 units, 11 centimeters. And as for this distance, well, we know that the total length is 36 centimeters and we've come up 11 centimeters from here. So if we subtract 11 from 36, we can see that this distance must be 25, 25 centimeters. I'll just leave it as 25 though, and this is 11. So when it comes to working out what angle theta is, very straightforward. All we need to do is just say that the tan of the angle theta, because that compares the opposite side over the adjacent, would equal 11 over 25. And so therefore, theta equals the inverse tan of 11 over 25, and if you work that out, you're going to get 23.749 and so on degrees. And we're asked to give this to the nearest degree, so it'll be 24 degrees to the nearest degree. Let's just squeeze that in there to the nearest degree. Okay?